Hey guys, welcome back to the Fieldcraft Survival Channel. My name is Mike Hernandez, the Mobility Director here at Fieldcraft Survival. And we're in beautiful Moab, Utah, uh, working on uh, some brand partner events. And I figured this would be a really great time to show you, uh, one, how to set up a communications plan, but two, how I am set up on my Jeep Gladiator. Let's check it out. Okay, so to get started, let's talk about some organizational ways uh, that will help you start this process. Communications can be, can be pretty intimidating, and even for someone like myself who is, I guess, kind of intermediate when it comes to this stuff, um, I figured it'd be best to, to start you out that way. We use this acronym in everything, and it's PACE planning, you'll hear that, P-A-C-E, uh, Primary, Alternate, Contingency, and Emergency, um, and we're gonna apply that to the way that we set up our comms today. So here in my Gladiator, let's address P for Primary. Uh, I have my cell phone here, which is the focal point of everything. I have 67 design mounts in here um, that will keep me hands-free and safe, uh, but also legal. There are some states that will you know, give you tickets if you're texting or whatever, um, or have uh, uh, issues with that. You sh also should not be doing that while you're driving. So I have this set up here in a way that my phone is primary. I can actually uh, use this as a Wi-Fi or a hotspot and my uh, iPad can feed off of that or whatever devices if the kids are in here too. Uh, but just like everybody else uses it, uh, it has text messaging um, and then of course a cell signal in order to communicate and then it integrates very well actually with Apple CarPlay into uh, my Jeep Gladiator. So that's my primary. So next is A for alternate. And here at the top of my rig at the highest point, I have my WeBoost antenna. Uh, what's great about this is it gets high and above the vehicle for best uh, signal capture um, on top. So as we move down, I'll show you how it's kind of connected and wired throughout the vehicle. So the way this works is it gets you to that top shelf of FCC regulations um, on signal strength. Your phone is limited just because it's all in one um, um, featured phone. And what this does is it just gives you that extra boost that you need. So it's here at the top, like I explained before, the wiring goes through the truck um, and into a unit that controls the antenna. Um, and then from there, I do have an internal antenna that goes near where the cell phone is at. And that's important to note. I, I do get a lot of questions, uh, you know, those, do those things really work or not? And they do have a couple of quirks. One of them being that the internal antenna does need to be very close, or it's more beneficial if the internal antenna is as close as you can to the cell phone. So I'm still kind of playing with it. Uh, right now, it does really well. Typically, when I'm passing through northern Arizona, there's a reservation section that's just like a dead zone. This has actually kept me um, at least LTE and a couple of bars to communicate. So it's a really great alternate in terms of cell signal. Next is C, which is contingency. Uh, I have in my hand a little GMR2. Um, that's a two-way radio that we briefly uh, spoke on in the beginning, and that's my GMRS radio. So these are great, 12-volt uh, source. You can just plug these in your vehicle, charge them. I actually have one here in my go bag in the back. Uh, but also I do have the hard-mounted uh, GMR45 from Rugged Radios. Guys, I chose to go with them. They're a really great partner of ours. Check them out. They have like whole solutions for specific vehicles. This one obviously is a Jeep Gladiator. Um, it's also the same for uh, the Jeep JLs and stuff like that, but they do have full kits for um, your specific application. What's great about GMRS is it's only $35 for the licensing on the FCC website. Check that out. Um, register. There's no... Uh, classes or, or tests that you have to take, and it's good for everybody in your family for, like I said, up to 10 years. So you can see here how I have it hard mounted. Um, they ha it comes with a kit that has the skosh mount where you can just grab that uh, when you're communicating, and then I do have one in the bag. Like I said, if you have to unass or get out of the vehicle, you at least have some cu communications if you're going to help recover or you're walking around, or if the kids are gonna yeah, use a restroom or something, you wanna keep tabs on them. So GMRS is a great C for contingency. Uh, make sure you look into rugged radios for that. And finally, E for emergency planning for our communications plan. Now keep in mind, we're gonna go more in depth uh, on our locals platform for this device because there is a lot of information. Um, so I'll try and summarize here as we close out our pace planning for comms. Uh, Zolio is a satellite device. It actually tethers to your phone via an app system. Uh, they do have a 24 hour uh, monitoring platform on it. So it's kind of like a security system for your home where if something happens or you access it, somebody actually does get into contact with you via the app. Uh, these are really great because I, I think it's called the Iridium Satellite Monitoring System. Um, 
And because it's a satellite, it has the power it needs in, let's say, an emergency situation like here in the canyons or if you're down low in the fingers of the canyon, this will be great for you, okay? Uh, this is great for hunters as well as guys who are overlanding a lot. Uh, this is something that I would keep, you know, just attached to where you need it. Uh, but there's a couple of plans that you can go through um, and find out what's best for you. Uh, the other cool thing about it too is it does have um, weather information as well as the emergency option for if you're in that situation. Oh, one more thing, it will actually access SMS text messaging on this as well. So if you are in a situation where all the other things don't work like your WeBoost or your cell phone, uh, this will actually get a text message out uh, to the proper people that need it in the emergency. To close everything out, pace planning can be applied anywhere. Today we're doing it in comms. So P is primary, A is alternate, C is contingency, and E is emergency. Out of all those that we talked about, I would say that primarily everyone has a phone, so you're good there. Uh, the WeBoost maybe is more of a luxury item. Uh, if it's too spendy for you, I get it. Everyone uh, has different circumstances. Make this your own, right? Um, so maybe we could do away with that if you're looking at options for yourself. But the top three would still be the rugged radios at GMRS. I really do like that, uh, especially in a situation like this, whether it's emergency or recreational. Uh, remember, a lot of what we're doing is recreational based. GMRS, rugged radios is the way to go. Uh, but if I had to say something that was more of a pillar and something that you should really look into in a survival sense, uh, these Zolio satellite devices are really uh, important. They could come um, to your aid in a pinch or in something that's uh, pretty serious. So make sure you look into that stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any uh, questions or if there's something better that you use. I'd love to evolve this over time. This is just how it is today uh, in current setup. Uh, again, guys, Mike Hernandez signing off. Catch you on the next one.